learn how to make these and many more insane x-ray effects in Premiere Pro. Now by going to the panel, click on new item, adjust my layer and click OK. Now drag the adjustment layer above your clips in the timeline and position your playhead in between the cut. Then move 5 frames back by holding shift and clicking your left arrow key, then make a cut, then move 10 frames back and make a cut again. Now delete the leftovers and we should have a 10 frame adjustment layer. Now go to the effects panel, search in word and then drag the effect to your adjustment layer in the timeline. If you now play back the video, we can see that we have an insane x-ray transition. You can customize the looks by having the adjustment layer selected and under effects controls change the channel to a different one. By dragging the extract effect to our adjustment layer, you can get a completely different look. For the next effect, make sure that the adjustment layer is 20 frames long and the invert effect is applied too. Now position your player in between the clips on the cut, then zoom out to 10%. Then in the effects controls, under invert, click on the free drop by CA, then make a shape like this. You can also make your own one if you like to. Now simply move the player to the start of the adjustment layer, then keyframe mask path. Then move the player to the end of the adjustment layer, and under invert, click on mask 1 to reveal the mask. Now drag the mask across the video to the other side, then change the mask feather value in the face controls to zero. We have now created this x-ray transition. If you want, you can also duplicate the clip by holding alt and dragging it up, then offsetting it at few frames to get a different looking effect. For the next x-ray transition, make sure the adjustment layer is pretty low, that it has the inward effect applied. Now position the playhead on the cut, for 5 frames back by holding shift and clicking the left arrow key, then make a cut and repeat the process until you have 4 cuts. Now delete the leftover adjustment layer and position the playhead on the cut again, now repeat the process on the right side and delete the leftover adjustment layer. Now starting from the left side, delete every other adjustment layer. Now check out the next video for an impact effect in Premiere Pro.